And some people who have diabetes uh, and they develop a kidney failure, despite our best attempts to control the blood sugar and to control uh, the uh, blood pressure, uh, the kidney failure will progress to a level where the toxic uh, 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 substances that the kidney normally uh, uh, removes from the body uh, build up uh, to a, a, a very dangerous uh, level. Uh, and when these toxic substances get to uh, a very high level, it's necessary to put people uh, on uh, dialysis. And dialysis is a, a means in which uh, we are able uh, to uh, take the blood uh, from a patient who has diabetes. Uh, we uh, move it through a machine that uh, uh, purifies the blood. And then uh, after the blood has been purified, the blood is then returned uh, to the patient with diabetes. In general, uh, when this happens, uh, the patients ha will have to come uh, to a specific kidney failure uh, unit. Uh, usually, we do the dialysis uh, three days per week, and each session uh, lasts anywhere from three uh, to four uh, hours. Now, in some people who have uh, uh, advanced uh, kidney disease uh, and who are on dialysis, uh, they may choose to receive a kidney uh, transplant. Uh, so that is another option uh, that's potentially available uh, to patients who have advanced kidney failure and who uh, prefer uh, not to be on dialysis. Uh, if such individuals have a living-related uh, sibling, uh, and if the sibling uh, has a good match uh, f uh, to the, the patient, uh, then that is the best way to go. Otherwise, uh, people uh, donate uh, their kidneys uh, uh, for, for, uh, to people who have advanced renal failure, uh, and that's uh, uh, another option uh, uh, in terms of obtaining a kidney in people who have very, very uh, advanced uh, kidney disease and who wish not to be on dialysis.